Hi, this is Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to test the heating element on your dryer to see if it is good or bad. To test your heating element, you'll first need to unplug your dryer and remove the heating element from the dryer or disconnect the wires going to the heating element. First, you will want to do a visual inspection of the heating element. In some cases, you will be able to easily see a break in the element coil. Gently move each of the coils on the element back and forth and this will make it easier to see where the break in the coil is. If you do not see any breaks in the element coil, then you can use a multimeter to do a continuity test or ohm test to see if the element is good or bad. There are a few common types of dryer heating elements. Single coil, dual coil, and triple coil. The easiest way to determine which type you have is to look at the number of wire terminals the heating element has. A single coil element will have two wire terminals, a dual coil element will have three wire terminals, and a triple coil element will have four wire terminals. First I will cover how to test a single coil element. If your multimeter has the option, turn your meter to the continuity setting. Place one of each of the probes on each of the element's wire terminals. If the element is good, you will hear an audible beeping noise. And if the element is bad, the meter will not make any noise. If you have a multi-coil element, you will first need to find the common wire terminal. Look at where the element coil attaches to the wires. On one of the terminals, you should see two or three of the coils that join together at one of the wire terminals. This is the common terminal that you will need to do your testing from. To do a continuity test, you will need to place one of the probes on the common wire terminal of the heating element and the other probe on one of the other terminals. Next, repeat the same process on the other wire terminals. If the element is bad, the meter will not make any noise, and if the coil you are testing is good, the meter will make an audible beeping noise. Since a multi-coil element has separate heating coils, it is possible for one coil to be good and the other to be bad. If one of the coils is burned out, then the heating element will need to be replaced. Next, check to see if your heating element is shorted by putting one of the probes on one of the element's terminals and the other probe on the housing of the element. Repeat the same process on the other wire terminals. If you have continuity between the element's terminals and the element housing, then you have a shorted element and you should leave the dryer unplugged until you replace the heating element. If your multimeter does not have a continuity setting, then you can do an ohm test. If you have an auto-ranging multimeter, then turn it to the ohm setting. If you have a manual ranging multimeter, then you will need to set the meter to the lowest ohm setting. On a single coil element, place one of each of the probes on each of the element's wire terminals. You should get an approximate ohm reading of 5 to 50 ohms. If the display on the meter does not change, or if your ohm reading is far off from that, then you have a bad heating element. On a multi-coil element, place one of the probes on the common wire terminal and the other probe on one of the other wire terminals. Next, repeat the same process on the other wire terminals. You should get an approximate ohm reading of 5 to 50 ohms on each of the coils. If the display on the meter does not change, or if your ohm reading is far off from that, then you have a bad heating element. If you find that you have a bad heating element and you need to purchase a new one, you can purchase one from our online store by clicking the link in the description below. Be careful when shopping around for dryer heating elements as many stores sell lower quality aftermarket heating elements. You can be assured when you purchase from Parts Doctor that you will receive a new OEM heating element. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more appliance repair videos. And if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below. You can also stay up to date by liking us on our Facebook page and following us on Twitter.